What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. I'm so sorry I didn't get a few episodes to you guys last week as I was basically studying for a test. Um, unfortunately, I did not pass the test, but that's okay. I'm going to be taking it again at the end of this month. So, I mean, not the end of this month, end of next month. So, it's okay. No worries. But anyway, since I have already studied for that test, we're back in full swing because I now only have to study a little bit for it. So, anyways, I digress. We are back talking about, of course, awesome cosplays along with, you know, everything cosplay anime related. But specifically today, I wanted to talk to you guys about mm, five tips that you could do to take better pictures at conventions. I know conventions are not a thing right now, but of course they're going to be coming back. So we should be using this time to prepare adequately. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Everyone is going to be bringing out their biggest and, you know, most badass cosplays because they've had, you know, more than a year to work on them. So I'm sure people are coming up with some crazy things with all their newfound time. So obviously we need to be ready as photographers or, you know, anyone who's just taking pictures <laughs> to just capture all of those great cosplays and idolize that moment, you know, make the memories, all of that. So let's go ahead today and get into five tips that could help you be a better cosplay photographer at conventions. Starting off our countdown, we probably have the number one tip that could really actually probably be the greatest out of all of them. And that's simply be polite and respectful. There's so many times that I've gone up to cosplayers and I just ask them very politely, hey, would you mind if I take your pictures or I love your costume? Would you mind if I, you know, put it on my YouTube, on my website, on my Instagram? And a lot of times people are very, very happy, not only that you admire their cosplay, but that you approach them in a very respectable manner. I mean, of course you're going to get denied a few times. There's some people who just don't want to be on camera or, you know, they're rushing to an event. I've had that happen several times where someone's like, oh, you know, I appreciate the offer but I'm going to the cosplay contest, or I'm going to meet my friend, or I'm going to eat. Oh, big one, don't take pictures of people while they're eating. That's a big, you know, no one likes that. A big, you know, cheeseburger entering their mouth as they're in their cosplay. Yeah, no one wants that. But anyways, just being polite can really get you far. And I really, really can't stress enough how much I value this. Just being respectful to other beings, other people, and treating them the way that you want to be treated. You wouldn't want somebody rushing all in your face and taking, you know, pictures without your consent. Just don't do it. Though, so, like, that's basically the number one tip I even think is greater than all of the other ones I'm going to give. So, of course, be polite. Coming in at number two, we have find a less crowded area. Now note, I did not say secluded area. There's a very big difference. Just try to find an area, you know, with not hundreds of people in the background, as if, you know, you're going to do Photoshop later, that puts a lot more work on you. And, you know, it can be very distracting. There's other flashes going off. People are doing, you know, whatever they're doing in the background. So the more you can just kind of like, you know, hone in and make it, you know, more personal so that you can really express the fullness of like your abilities and just show what you're really trying to go for makes it a lot easier to take pictures. I commonly ask a lot of cosplayers to, you know, oh, just come over here to this corner with me. You know, it's still in plain sight of everyone. It's just like there's a background and the background is not just this infinite void of people doing whatever. So like that has really helped me. And like I said, my personal cosplay, you know, photography style does involve darkening the background. So of course that can help if there's no options, but you know, you of course have to cater to your photography style. But anyways, just try to find an area that's not completely overwhelming with people and it will allow them to, you know, fully pull out their cosplay props, to pull out their wings if they have it, to go into some awesome poses, you know, an open area, but not secluded, but just not as full of people. So that's my second tip. So tip number three is shoot both full body and portrait shots. Well, of course, you know, horizontal landscape shots too, but full body and portrait. I say this because I really, really like to view both, you know, after the con's over, view the cosplayer's full body shot. And I like that close in zoom shot. Everyone loves that shot. Well, most people love that shot. They love just seeing all the details like an 85 millimeter can bring out. 
just zooming in really close to them. And, you know, they probably spend hours on their makeup along with their hair, or, you know, styling a wig, you know, making those crazy eyebrows. Um, I forget the pillar's name from Demon Slayer, the fire pillar with those crazy eyebrows. Everyone wants to see that, you know, they put a lot of time into it. So I think that's also like a really, really good tip is capturing both. And another great tip also, well, a great tip that goes inside with that one is for Instagram. Instagram, if you take a portrait picture, you know, that's vertical basically, you have to cut it down. Whereas with landscape, it's a lot more forgiving. I'll just say, of course, you have to follow certain aspect ratios and pixels, whatever. But it's a lot more forgiving from what I've seen when I do my cosplay edits or just, you know, posting a raw picture. It's, you can fit a lot more into a landscape picture than you can into, you know, a vertical portrait picture. So go for both. I mean, everyone, of course, again, has their own cosplay style, but I like to have both to choose from when it comes to posting that picture. And, you know, a lot of times you also even have more pictures to give to them. It will show them a wider range of what the work they have created. So definitely go for both landscape and portrait pictures. So tip number four is knowing some basic poses. I, of course, do not know every pose or every character in the anime world. You know, I have no idea what specific pose is for which character. And sometimes I don't even know which character they're cosplaying as. I just know, oh, I love your cosplay. I love to get some pictures. So of course I always ask them, do you have any poses you would like to do? And if not, that's perfectly fine. You know, you can just hopefully guide them towards some poses that you think would be good. Um, some general tips for that, you know, not having hanging arms. Hanging arms look terrible in pictures. You know, have them put it on the hip or, you know, clap them together like that, grasp them together like that. You know, just do anything that just doesn't involve hanging arms along with straightening your posture. Nobody wants, you know, a hunched over picture. It doesn't look so good. So knowing some basic poses will definitely help and it can even help you develop a better relationship. You're like, oh, you know, I don't know your character, but I do know a few poses you can do. Another problem I've realized too is I have geared, of course, since I'm male, I gear my poses towards male. So I do have to learn a lot more female poses. I'm working on that, but that's gonna come with time and experience. So I would say overall, just get to know, you know, a few poses that you have in mind. Oh, and of course, show the poses to the person. I like to have lots of poses saved on my phone that I can just show you since I cannot replicate all of them and I can't describe them as well. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. So I just show them a picture and they're like, oh, I know that pose. Boom. And they have it done for you. So know a few poses and you'll be good to go. Last but not least, we have tip number five, which is knowing your cosplay photography style. I kind of touched on this a bit in tip number one, but really knowing what you're going for and your strengths and weaknesses, which plays into your cosplay photography style, is a big deal at conventions. When you're you know, secluded and you're working with someone that you know personally or someone that's booked you, you have a lot more time and you can you know, set things up the way you want. You've scoped out the area before so you can go there and set things up the way you like. Or you've even shot in that area before so you're very, very familiar with it. But when you're on a convention floor, I mean anything can happen. God knows someone can bump into you. You could spill something. The light can be changing from, well, the sun can be changing from the lights. You know, you could have different color lights, yellowish lights, blue. There's so many things that can be happening. So know your cosplay photography style. If you're shooting in an area that's dark, you're of course gonna have to bump up your ISO, which is gonna make grainy pictures unless you have one of those awesome cameras, which unfortunately I do not have, but I'm working on getting. But if you work on that, you know, if that's your cosplay photography style, don't go for dark areas. Try to find more well-lit areas. If you know you don't do so well with, you know, very blown out images, like areas that are very, very bright. Even if you set your ISO to 100, you have a very high shutter speed, you just don't work good in that environment. You know, don't try, or at least try not to shoot there. Go to areas that really, really fit your photography style and, you know, areas that you feel comfortable and familiar with because it will help you a lot in the long run of developing your brand along with, you know, your edits. If you get to a picture that you've really never experienced this type of picture before, the, you know, highlights are way up or the shadows are really dark, you're not really going to know how to edit it. And the final product, you know, it may or may not be something you like, but it may just not be your specific style that you've edited this picture into. So definitely try to aim more so at always shooting in an area that would allow you to edit and take pictures that, you know, you like and that you believe the customer or cosplayer would like. 
So there you have it, five tips that will hopefully help you at your next convention. God knows I'm, uh, I'm praying that they will return this year. We did miss, you know, Katsukan. Uh, I did love it last year, but that's okay. It's going to come back. But in the meantime, you know, brush up on your photography skills like I'm trying to do, you know, brush up on your Photoshop skills, your editing skills, and, you know, take into consideration, you know, hopefully these five tips helped you. You know, if not, that's okay. Maybe you're way more advanced than I am. But hopefully they did help you. And thank you so much again for checking out my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up, you know, subscribe. It would greatly help the channel and I would appreciate it a lot. Look forward to more awesome content coming out later this week. And until next time, stay balanced. See you guys.